Hello everyone, this is Kayla, your BFR intern. In this video, we'll be talking about Instagram generally as a tool to promote your show, but more specifically using Instagram stories. We all know that social media is a great way to bring awareness to business, brands, and of course, your radio show or podcast. First things first, if you do not have an Instagram account, you should definitely make one. This platform is widely popular and more up-to-date than Facebook. If you want to reach a younger as well as older audience, Instagram has got you covered. Posting on your Instagram page frequently is important for engagement. Things you might want to post are reminders about where and when your next show is, upcoming guests, short snippets on your show as a teaser, and, and more. But just posting on your page is not enough to really engage your followers. Utilizing the story function on Instagram is a great way to amp up your account and reinforce important information and events about what's happening with your show. I'm going to use a fake Instagram account to show you how to utilize the Instagram story function. In a previous video on how to make a promo, I made a hypothetical podcast as an example called Femme Fatales. Okay, first thing, profile. Make an account with your logo as the profile picture and a basic description of your show in the profile. In your profile, it is important to include where your podcast can be streamed if it is on multiple platforms. For the web link section, you could put in your show's website if you have one, BFR website if you stream there, or BFR's podcast network. I'll just do BFR's website since this is not technically a real or running podcast at the moment. Um, finally, make sure you make it a business profile and there will be a drop down menu for categories, which will um, podcast is one of them. Okay, there are a couple different ways to post. The most basic way to make a post is just to do a regular old post on your page, which is a picture or multiple pictures or a short video. Another way to post is to make an IGTV video, which is any video longer than a minute and a half, basically. This will be covered in a different video um, going more in depth about posting, but I'll just have a quick little example to show you. If you're still married to Facebook, don't worry. A great feature about Instagram is that you can link your show's Facebook page or account to your Instagram. This means that whenever you make a post, you have the option to simultaneously post Facebook, vice versa. Instagram stories. So click on your profile picture to see what your daily story is. This function is almost identical to Snapchat. Stories can be used to repost pictures or videos that appear on your main account or add in new short pieces of information or promotion. What is appealing about Instagram stories is that most Instagram users will go through the stories of the accounts they follow every day, but they might not see your general posts in their feed every day. Also, Instagram stories are a great way to utilize cross promotion by having other accounts like SMC or BFR tag you in the stories or you tagging them. So I'm going to have a couple examples here of what you can do. There are levels to Instagram stories, just your general daily story. Posting reminders about when your show will be broadcast is a great thing for your Instagram story so that your profile is not littered with constant broadcast reminders with the same picture, but can rather be interesting highlights on what your show is about or the hosts. But you can also create highlight reels, uh, which is really cool. Uh, they're basically their own category of stories. So after you post a story, it'll be saved to this highlight reel. So at any time, someone that goes and clicks on your profile can see those posts that maybe happened like, I don't know, like a week ago or something. You can group these highlights based on themes. For example, if you post Instagram stories showing behind the scenes footage of recording your show, you might also want to feature guests in a specific highlight reel. Or maybe if your show is music focused, a top pick every week that is saved on that story or highlight. Making highlights is simple. When you post to your story, there's an option to add that post to a new highlight. 
For my example, I'm going to do a featured femme of the week because that's like the concept of my show. So I'll have Phoebe Bridgers here. And then for the other one, I'm going to just choose a random photo of myself. This is actually from the radio station where I go to school, Tufts, like a year or so ago. And I'm just going to pretend that's my behind-the-scenes recording for this podcast. But you get the idea. As you can see, I've also been playing with the functions and the aesthetics of how stories look utilizing stickers and polls are really cool instagram stories um are a wonderful tool to engage listeners because of its ability to personalize with text and all these other functions These polls especially are a great way to get the viewers involved in your show process. For example, you might make a poll asking which artist to feature on the next episode or which topic to choose from. This will make your viewers feel like they have an active role in your show and it makes it seem more down to earth and personable. These are the basic functions of Instagram stories, and I hope my examples have helped you get a hold on this tool. If it seems hard at first, don't worry, you will definitely get the hang of it. And of course, feel free to contact me or other SMC staff if you want some one-on-one -on -one advice.